What's up, y'all? This is Ron back at you with yet another car video. Many men think it takes simply money to get women, yet complain about gold diggers, Chad, and Pookie. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let me shout out Mr. Lacario because this is inspired by a post he had on IG, and he had screenshotted uh, some guys saying, uh, it was a picture of a baddie, and some guy saying he got to get his money up to get her. And the comments went off on that dude. <laughs> yeah, the dude making a comment, got to get my money up to get a woman. But then I thought about that, right? Now check it out, check it out. Because you know every now and then I do a video about, you know, getting women without money. And I always say, don't lead with your wallet. I don't care who say otherwise, right? I always say that. And I stick with that, right? But then, dudes will say that, but then other dudes, and sometimes even the same dudes, will complain about gold diggers. Or they'll complain about Chad, who, uh, you know, just getting women just off of his looks and, you know, the various ethnic combinations, or they complain about Pookie, who ain't known for his looks and, quite frankly, is considered a loser. All right, so I'm going to take them one at a time. First of all, the gold diggers. It don't, have, it don't make any common sense to say, oh, it just take money to get women. It just take money to get women. But then complain about gold diggers, a woman coming for you just for money. But hold up. Didn't you say it just takes money to get women? How the hell are you going to say it just takes money to get women and then complain when a woman actually does just that? Because, yeah, we do got some gold diggers. We got plenty of women. They're only going to talk to you if you got, like, a certain credit score and all that. What they get called? Gold diggers. <laughs> Shoot. How many dudes have complained? How many dudes have complained about uh, women? Online talking about, oh, you gotta have a hundred thousand to get with me, or oh, you gotta have five hundred thousand. So hold up, the women saying straight up they want money, but dudes complaining about it when they actually say it. And now some dudes have tried to say, well, it's based on how they look and everything. Whatever the case, you got pretty women who say the same goddamn thing. So what's up? What's up? She, she. That don't make a bit of sense. I want y'all to think about that. Like, you gotta have some common sense out here. How you gonna say women want you for one thing or women just want one thing, then complain when they actually do it? Think, think. Complain about gold diggers and shit. But you saying they just want money. Okay. And then some dude saying, yeah, I gotta get my money up and everything. For a gold digger? For somebody to come take your money? I mean, I take I want y'all to think about that. Just stop, seriously, stop and think about that. <laughs> oh, man. Go to say you need the money and then, yeah, you got to get your money up, but complain when the women actually take it. Because, look, if a woman go for a man just because he got money, she just want to divest him of it. She don't give a shit about him. She loves him for his inner beauty, the beauty of the money in his pockets. Now, you get some dudes complaining about that and everything or, you know, but you know what? Here's something else. I was about to go one direction, but let me go another direction. How come I still haven't, even in my comments when I talk about money, if you have to have a guy say, you know what, Rom, I got a very beautiful woman. She's a traditional woman. She's a very good mother very good wife, very loyal to me, and I got her solely on my money. I'm still waiting. Shit, I'm waiting for anybody to say that. I'm waiting to see some videos on that. Shit, some content creators say, yeah, I got this beautiful woman right here, right here. Look at these beautiful kids. Got all this. And she just came for me just for my money. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Shit. It was that simple. Shoot. Guys wouldn't have to worry about, like, looking a certain way or game. They just had to get their money up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn, if it's that simple. 
I mean, shoot, you got millionaires and everything complaining. You got professionals complaining. I remember I saw this article about, uh, you know, the lonely men and all of that. Or men who are just perpetually single. All of these ain't some broke bammers. <laughs> Seriously, all of these are not some broke bammers. These some guys who got, they got degrees, they got money. Shoot, if you're making six figures, you're, you're automatically in the top 10% and they're complaining. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. If it was that simple. And then if they actually get a woman, if they actually get a woman, they complaining about, uh, like, she, oh, she, man, she's spending all my money. She a gold digger. <laughs> like, come on, man. Which one is it? And shoot, the complaints don't really stop there. Remember I said Chad. And let's just use it, even though people generally mean, uh, you know, some six foot two tall white dude or something. You know, you got the variations, Tyrone, Chang, <laughs> Enrique, <laughs> you know. You got all of them. Handsome men. Let's just say handsome men and shit. I've never heard any handsome man or anybody who even promotes handsome man game talk about using money. And I haven't heard anybody say, oh yeah, Chad got all those women because he got money. <laughs> Shit, they be saying the opposite. Chad just got those women because he got a uh, jawline. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. So hold up. If a woman only want a man for money, it don't matter what he look like. It's irrelevant. Because see, take out money. Whatever whatever state you, whatever country you in, whatever you use, take it out. What's on that? What's on there? An older white man. An older white man if you got a U.S. dollar. You know. In Britain, I don't know if they still got the ones with the queen on it. Or oh, shoot, you got whoever. Take it and look at it. Have you ever known a woman to get wet off of that? Just that. Just just hold it up. Nah, nah. In fact, let's be real. Money is increasingly digital. Money is increasingly digital. And not even not even get into uh you know cryptocurrency or anything like that. It's a number. <laughs> it's a number in the computer. You know, when I look at my bank account, I don't see any dollars. I, I just see numbers. You look at anybody's bank account, it's just numbers. Now, they are traded for money if you need, but, you know, with debit cards and, you know, credit cards, all of that, you may never, you could go weeks without spending cash or any coin, anything physical. Think about it. Think about it. Right? So you don't need to look a certain way. You don't need looks if you got money. If that's all women want. <laughs> think, think, think again. If that's all women wanted, you don't need all of that. <laughs> you just need a good bank statement. In fact, you should be, if, if all it took was money, you could just go to the club. You know, be dancing. Hey, girl, how you doing? Right, let me see the scores. Let me see the scores. <laughs> you just say, okay, girl. Ah, yeah, yeah. Here's my bank statement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Here's my credit score from all three boroughs. Yeah, right. That woman, they, that, woman they, that woman don't even care about all that shit. Hell. You got some women now. Shoot, what I saw the last time I read some on it, it was like, and you have to do your own research because you know there's always different numbers. But the last thing I saw on it, you got 30% of marriages where the woman's making more money. And then I always talk about you got these women out here, they basically sponsoring the men. Where the money come in? Dude don't got no money. He driving her car, she paying rent. <laughs> She play, paying rent or mortgage. Shoot. Hell, he ain't even buying his own clothes. You know she hooking him up. Where that money come in at? <laughs> Where that money come in at? You know? 
Oh, man. Shoot, what they got to do with Chad? Shoot, shoot. Unless Chad got money, he should be, like, out of the picture. He should, you shouldn't even be thinking about it. That shouldn't even be competition. How these money men explain Chad? <laughs> you know? Chad Tyrone, whatever words you want to use. Fine man, beautiful man, whatever word women use. You know, they they, they just say he fine. When they say he fine, they don't be saying he fine and rich. They be like, he fine. How he getting in? <laughs> and these guys will be saying, yeah, just take money, take money. Please explain them. <laughs> Please explain them. <laughs> and shit, let's go even further. Pookie. Now, Pookie, nobody ever accused Pookie of looking good, but they also say he broke. How he getting it? You got some people. Man, I had somebody that, uh, on a video the other week. He brought Pookie and Ray Ray into the conversation, and I actually went over the video again. I was like, I ain't mentioned Pookie and Ray. I actually took time. It was one of my car videos. It was one of my car videos. I actually took the time to listen to it. I said, did I mention Pookie and Ray? I mean, people put that in there. Dude, shoot, if I want to get like a whole bunch of views, that's clickbait. All I had to do is put Pookie and Ray Ray in the title. I bet you quite a few uh, men looked at this video because I put Pookie in the title. Some more because I put Chad and then Gold Diggers. Ah, uh, yeah. That algorithm, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. But hold up. Nobody ever said Pookie look good. Nobody said, nah, Pookie fine and stuff. They be wondering and stuff. They say, man, they be saying all the women, especially in the black community, all the women going for Pookie. But if they going for Pookie, who, uh, you know. How is it they just want a man with money? Pookie don't got money. That's the whole point. That's how he a Pookie. <laughs> and don't be one of those people who say, well, you know, uh, Pookie can have money too. No, he can't. His ass wouldn't be called Pookie. His ass would be called Paul. Shoot. His ass would be called Carlton if he had money. Because you know some hardworking man was, you know a hardworking man with some money ain't walking out here with no damn nickname. Shit. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, as be called Paul Jefferson, Esquire or something, if he had money. Come on now, stop. <laughs> but he getting his. You know, there's some broke dudes out here. There's probably some broke dudes right now, some pookies and Ray Rays now. Watching this video, using that girl's like phone. They don't even got a phone. Or she paid, she paying a bill. And he'd be like, yeah, Rom, you right. And all do that shit. He'd be like one day, why she with Pookie? That dude sitting around playing Xbox or PS5. You know, my son got a he still got a PS4. He still uses it because it more like works. Oh, real quick money management thing. Don't get something just because they upgraded. They they it, it, they upgrade a little bit of thing. That's a game out there. Let me just give you a little bit. You know. Just like cars and stuff. Just keep them running. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Seriously, I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to think about everything I just said. It's like, if it only takes his money, then why complain about a gold digger? They're going for money. What, what's the, I, what, I don't see the problem. If you think that's all you need, well, you're going to get gold diggers. They're going for gold. <laughs> that's all they're going for. <sighs> That's all they going for. Don't get mad they going for it. Don't get mad they tell you. Because like I said, you know some dudes out here be getting mad at these women say they want. Be complaining. Say, yeah, man, what's wrong with her, man? She want that guy making six figures. She want this. Some guys be saying it when they actually run into some women who want money. You know? Because there are some women who do. They get called gold diggers. <laughs> I mean, what, what, come on now. Seriously, just say, stop, stay seriously. I know I'm laughing about this, but the shit is, like, ludicrous. <laughs> and then, why is it some dude, why shit? And dudes know it, what shit? Dudes know they got to have some type of looks or something to fix up. You know? I, I, how you get some, like, handsome motherfucker who, who got some game? Shit. Who got some game? Still getting a woman broke. Shit, I know that from personal experience. 
I told you, I ain't really had money until like recent years. <laughs> Shit, I had just enough. Even when I thought I had money, I ain't really had money. <laughs> I was get more play. <laughs> I even said it one place. Shit, ten years ago, I was sleeping on an air mattress. <laughs> I can't where I can't keep getting new ones because all the women coming through. I ain't had nothing. They were they were bringing food. Shit. Shit, they were bringing food and paying for the dates. <laughs> oh, man. I would have got with them if I had... Uh, I would have got with them if they wanted money. Shoot. Women just want... Hey, women want that companionship. They want they want to relate. They want to connect. And they want the hot beef injection. <laughs> you give them that. <laughs> yeah, if they start thinking about money, they just... It's pure business for them. Yeah, those gold diggers. Even the cheap gold diggers, cause I've said I've said before, a real gold digger going for millions. But you got those round away gold diggers and stuff. You got those round away gold diggers. They just want, they just want you to pay for some Cheetos and some Sunny Delight. Shout out uh, Tariq Nasheed. He's he pointed that out. It's true though. Like you get around the way, some of those poor areas, shit, the women just need you to pay for some basics and shit, and they good. You know. They let you fill them up or something for like 250. Oh, that's right. I got to account for inflation. 500. Shit. Let you look at them. Let you pay their rent or some shit like that. Because let's put it like this. Anybody who in that situation, cut off the spigot. Act like you ain't going to pay, pay for anything. And watch how the woman behave. That's when you'll know. That's when you know. Even with gold diggers, you got to watch that with them. Because a smart gold digger spent her money first. But it's still the money. It's still the money. Oh, man. And then you definitely can't explain how they get with Chad. Shit, you got old channels explaining that shit. If you get, you get, the, you get a, you get a, you get a, like a TikTok or IG showing some women going crazy over some dude just because he handsome and shit. Well, handsome with body gang. Yeah. Oh, let me throw body game in there. <laughs> yeah, women be going crazy over people be sending me videos. I get it. I get it from people. I ain't, don't even follow me on IG. They just say, hey, yo, Ron Wills. Or, yeah, Uncle Ron. Look at this body game. <laughs> Shoot. You know? How much money that dude going to spend on a woman? He, he, is he walking around with a bank statement like tattooed to his chest in his credit school? <laughs> Shit. Oh man, and then you just got those you man, you got those bum dudes. They ain't doing shit. Xbox champions and shit, smoking some weed and shit in some some other woman's house. <laughs> How much money they got? They don't even pay for their own weed. You know what? That weed thing ain't the same, because since it's legal in half the states. Even then it's still weed. Chewables too. Shame. <laughs> Come on, seriously, seriously, y'all. Let me get a little serious. People need to stay seriously think. Because you see, I still get arguments about the money. People just say, oh, just have money, just have money. How's that working? Like I said earlier, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting to see somebody say, you know what? I got this beautiful woman who's a great mother. She's loyal. I ain't handle my bad situation. All because I had money. I'm still waiting to see that. <laughs> I am still waiting to see that. I'll be waiting a long ass time. Actually, I do want to see that. That just be interesting. Like somebody who can go, like somebody who can go interview and say, you know, I got, I got this like loyal woman. I got this loyal woman who had kids for me and everything, right? And she's good for me just because I had the money. Yeah, they couldn't have me interview that person. I'd be like, oh, where's she at now? Oh, I don't know. She said she was going on a girl's trip. Mm -hmm. Let me see a picture of your kids. Oh, wow. So redhead runs in your family. Hmm. Why the like, kid light skin with some reddish hair? It'd be a black man and shit. Thinking he just got her just for some money. Yeah, that kid's, yeah, that kid off be light skin with reddish hair. Or be some white guy shit. That's like, damn, those some awfully tan kids. Yeah. 
Yeah, that money really helped, didn't it? They be trying to lie about it. Say, well, you know, uh, she said she had some black in her blood. This woman be pale as shit. Look. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously, y'all. Seriously. Y'all need a real seriously, man. Really ask yourself. Because seriously, that, and you just have to go out. You're going to tell me all these dudes walking around. And let's with a reasonably attractive woman got money. Y'all know y'all be seeing some dudes be like, dude, be looking broke as hell. Hell, she be driving. Shout out C Book. I remember he said that during a um, self improvement summit. Be out and about to see a little attractive woman. She driving a dude. He in a car just chilling. A man with money be driving his own car, wouldn't he? It'd be a nice car. Wouldn't, wouldn't be no hoop to either. She driving it. Hey, she driving. She driving a luxury car. Her luxury car. And dude just sitting in there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and real quick, because I know how people be nitpicking my stuff. People be buying luxury cars knowing they can't afford it. She knows she can't afford it. But she going she gonna to get that car. And drive that dude whose sole mission is to be a concubine. Shout out BGS. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> That's funny to me. That's funny. Let me slow down here. Kids being picked up, man. Oh, let me say, make an announcement. I remember I was driving one time. Man, a couple cars drove past this thing. Drove past a bus. Man, don't do that shit, man. Any of y'all got kids out here, man. Thanks for track the motherfucker down and fuck him up. Come on, get in the bus, y'all. Seriously. Seriously, respect buses, y'all. Seriously, all jokes aside. I just, uh, I care about the kids. Shit, bus drivers respect when you actually do your job and stop. But anyway, man, look, seriously, for guys who think it's just money, look, I'm going to say what I always say because I have zero thing against money. I got a money channel, you know? And that's for those who think I just talk about relationships. I got a money channel, you know? And I get philosophical with my deep thought channel. But guys think it's, it's funny. It, you know, it's funny, too, because so many guys would say money, money, money. That's kind of inspired me to start the money channel. You think it's money? Okay, I'll tell you how to make I'll tell you how to have the mindset to make money. You know? My thing is money mindset. You know? Money mindset and uh, managing. But I barely get views on my money channel unless I talk about relationships. And dudes thinking, well, I gotta I gotta get that money and everything, get that woman. Dude. Then get her and then Yeah, I know I got to do it, y'all. Joe Rockhead, here it come. Yeah, get that, get that money, get that beautiful woman, move her into, move her and her two kids, and her two kids by three fathers into your place. <laughs> you know, it's always paternity fraud or something. <laughs> we had move those two kids, and then you know what? After you done worked hard on that sixty-hour job, you coming home and stuff. You come home early, you ain't feeling good. All of a sudden, you hear that noise upstairs, and the kids be downstairs too. Be like, oh, yeah, mommy upstairs with uh, uh, Uncle Pookie. <laughs> you bust in that room. <laughs> you bust in that room. Be like, what the hell is going on? And Pookie look at you like, hey, yo, man, um, this you, man. My bad. I'm sorry. Hold up, man. Um, she got some good pussy, though. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy, Jeebus. Yeah, oh, man, but yeah, yo, honestly, man, seriously, everyone, seriously, everyone, um, all jokes aside, I really want some guys who think it's just money and you just got to get your money up to really think, really think, like you want to make money, you know, I promote making money, yeah, for yourself, and you know, if you talk about overall, if you're talking about a long-term relationship, or living together or marriage, yeah, money come in, but that's not strictly for her. That's for you, too. You living in the same house. You living in the same house. Oh, and real quick, just real quick, just real quick. 
Because sometimes people say you paying some anyway, right? You paying some anyway. I want y'all really. I want y'all to say one if y'all really get what I'm about to say. Because I, I got to say this. I almost did a separate video on it. Because sometimes when you say, nah, you don't have to pay money or anything. Well, people say, well, you got to pay something. You got to pay time. That's the dumbest ass, no common sense statement I ever made. Ain't she paying her time? Excuse me. Ain't she giving you her time? Okay, yeah, you giving her some time, but ain't she giving you her time? Fair exchange is no robbery. Use some common sense. Ain't she spending time, her time with you? She could probably be spending money with, uh, I mean, no time with somebody else. You talking about you paying your time? That's stupid as shit because you, she's paying her time. No, I want y'all to think about that. I almost need to do a separate video on that. Whenever somebody say some, some asinine shit like that, it's like, well, she's paying her time. If she don't want to spend time with you, she could, she could tell you no. She's taking up her time. And in fact, if you got some shit going on, shit, she putting a lot of time. She's spending money on uh, fixing up. She's spending time fixing up for you. She might be making you a plate. Come on, now. She's spending her time doing She's spending her time and doing it. And even when you say, well, you working out, you spending that for her. Well, she's spending time to get the makeup on. She's spending time in the gym to have that nice ass. She's spending time to have those those nice clothes. You know, she's spending time at the hairdresser. She probably, a woman's probably spend more time getting a man than a man spends time getting a woman. All right? I just had to put that in there because whenever somebody say that, I'm like, well, she's spending her time too. Fair exchange is no robbery. She's spending just as much time. So get rid of that dumbass argument. <laughs> Shit. And if you don't want to spend time with her, don't spend time with her. So she spend y'all spending time with each other. So that cancels each other out. You're not giving her something. You're not giving her something uh, just to get something back. She spent, shoot, she's spending just as much her time with you. Seriously, some people got to just sit down and think. All right? Think. And even about that main thing I was talking about, yeah, I was jokey jokey about it, but that's just a way of giving you the, like, that's just giving you uh, that uh, castor oil with a little bit of sugar with it, man. Because it's a tough thing. You got to think. You got to think. If it's just money, what the fuck you complain about gold diggers for? That's the, that's natural. You know, if it's just money, how come you can't seem to find anybody who's saying they totally happy and it's just money? And they got plenty of money. Or you got single men, just money. If you got money, shit. You know, complaining about guy, uh, women going for guys, complaining about guys like Chad or Pookie. I mean, like I said, if I if I just put Pookie and Ray Ray in a title, guys be complaining, oh, they're going for those bumps. Those bumps don't got money. That's why they there. That's the whole point. That's the whole thing about Pookie. That's the whole, the meme, the whole idea that they getting pussy and they don't got no damn money. So common sense says there's a way to get women without having it. Common sense says if guys are complaining about Chad, apparently, who they never say has money, Apparently they're getting women, so what the fuck? And we don't even need to get into the whole thing with game. We don't need to get into it. Because a lot of dudes who got game, they ain't really leading, they ain't leading with their wallet. Because that's part of game is getting women without spending money. What y'all think? Seriously. So anyway, though, I gotta go in and get something real quick. Yeah. So anyway. I'll talk to you, but no no joke, though. Seriously, just think about that. Just think. All right? Just think about it. All right? And I do, and you know what? And this ain't even, if you can find, look, if you can find somebody who can honestly say everything all right and it was only because of the money, like, you know for sure. Not somebody you speculate either. Like, you know for sure. Or even if you one of those people, I don't know, share your story. Share your story. Just be respectful about it. If you think it's just money, nothing else, not your personality or anything, and I'm going to know if you cap it, not your look, she ain't give a fuck about none of that. And like, it was just your money, just, think about how I say just your money, got the woman, and she's not a gold digger either, all right? So, anyway, I'll get back with y'all, peace and blessings.